In this video, we're going to look at cough, um, physiology of coughing. Cough is uh, defined as a short, explosive expulsion of air. So here we have a person coughing. When we talk about the physiology of coughing, we have to talk about um, the lungs, the respiratory tract actually, and the muscles of respiration. So let's zoom into the trachea bronchi area here and learn and just revise our anatomy of the area. So here we have our mucosa layer. Mucosa layer contains cells, such as goblet cells, which release um, mucus, produce the mucus. The actual um, layer, first layer of the uh, mucosa cells um, are made up of the pseudostratified columnar epithelial. And these cells are ciliated. Below it, we have the basement membrane and a small part of a, a small, uh, a bit of smooth muscle. Now, below the mucosa is the submucosa, which contains cells. It contains immune cells such as mast cells, which are important in defense as well as an, um, the allergic response. Below the submucosa, we have cartilage, which um, I have drawn because it's part of it, cartilage, uh, the, tra the cartilage makes up the trachea. There are many nerves that innervate the area. Um, there are sensory nerve fibers, which include RAS, SARS, and C fibers. RAS are rapidly acting, adapting, SARS are slowly adapting. And these are mechanoreceptors, but regardless, all these nerve fibers are part of the vagus nerve. And so it brings the sensory information from the area towards the medulla, which is part of the central nervous system. It brings the sensory information through the vagus nerve to an area within the medulla known as the NTS. NTS uh, stands for Nucleus uh, Tractus Solitorius. So I hope that made sense. So vagus nerve brings sensory information from uh, the respiratory tract, upper respiratory tract towards the medulla. So what initiates the cough? Well, there can be chemical or mechanical things that initiate these sensory nerve fibers. Chemicals such as uh, cytokines, um, LTD4, leukotrienes, as well as histamine. Mechanical can be things such as a foreign body or a, you know, a growth, cancer. So these things can trigger or stimulate these sensory nerve fibers, which will travel through these nerves, um, and which are part of the vagus nerve, and bring this sensory information to the medulla, um, to the area known as the NTS. Here it will cause, uh, it will synapse with other neurons, which will trigger sort of a cough reflex. So uh, the vagus nerve synapses with efferent nerve fibers, um, and these efferent nerve fibers can be um, different types of nerves, but essentially the final, the final efferent nerves are the phrenic, spinomotor, recurrent laryngeal, and vagus. The recurrent laryngeal is actually part of the vagus, but anyway. These efferent nerve fibers will then, you know, it bring, bring this um, reflex information to effector muscles. And these effector muscles are, are the respiratory muscles. It, can, it is also the laryngeal muscles and the bronchial smooth muscles. And so um, when these effort nerve fibers carry this uh, information to these effector muscles, it will initiate the sort of the cough reflex. And there are three main phases. Number one is the inspiratory phase. And what happens here is the person, we take a deep, a big breath in, it will stretch our expiratory muscles when we take a deep breath in and we'll increase the pressure within our lungs. The second phase is the compress, compression phase. In the compression phase, our glottis closes, which is uh, the opening to our respiratory, to our lungs, essentially the respiratory, lower respiratory tract. So the glottis closes, and our, but our respiratory muscles contract and thus, it will result in uh, the pressure increasing even more in, in our lungs. And finally, we have the third phase, the expiratory phase. 
this is where we the glottis opens and the air is pushed out because of the high pressure inside the lungs so we expel the air out really like bang so i hope that made sense inspiratory compression and expiratory phase now let us look at the different types of cough that we have because uh, different types of cough can uh, mean different types of i guess conditions so we can have this type of cough, cough called barking now i can't really explain how it sounds but a barking cough is can be croup or it you know it means a it's sort of a habit cough there can be honking cough and this means uh, it's most likely psychogenic there can be paroxysmal cough um, which um, can show signs of uh, which sort of can mean pertussis uh, productive cough um, asthma is associated with asthma and bronchitis a wet cough is associated associated with superative uh, lung disease um, and finally uh, cough can also be uh, voluntary so voluntary meaning that it can come from higher brain centers so we can voluntarily you know cause a cough um, a volitional control which can sort of um, send signals down to the medulla and which will trigger sort of the cough um, response so i hope that made sense and i hope you enjoyed this video on the cough the physiology of cough thank you for watching Bye.